So Drew, I heard you don't like the state of the iPads right now. Is it because you didn't get that wireless charging you were asking for? Or is it because you wanted MagSafe 3 to find its way onto the iPad Pro? You know why. Perhaps if we finally launch that midnight iPad Pro? Uh, uh, no, still. Oh, now wait a second. You just want an iPad that's as big as your MacBook Pro. 16 inches, per se? Craig, I, I'm not going to waste time with this. 16-inch uh, <laughs> iPad Ultra, if you will. How cool is that? There's been another round of reports, this time from The Information, claiming that Apple is working on even larger iPads than before. However, this report is by far the largest we've ever heard, but it's not from a super reliable source. The information has gotten some things right, but still a lot of things wrong, so I just want to preface that there's a good chance Apple's prototyping these things, but we'll never see the light of day with them. However, it should be worth mentioning that much more reliable sources like Mark Gurman and Ross Young have both alluded to the idea of Apple making iPads above 12.9 inches, and now that we're seeing Apple get crazier and crazier with the Ultra terminology, and if iPadOS keeps getting boxed into a corner and they can't really do anything with the software, the iPad hardware team is basically gonna be forced to come up with something to justify people buying new iPad Pros, and I'm sorry, the hovering Apple Pencil and the M2 chip, that, that's just not cutting it. So maybe their last ditch effort is, well, let's get even wackier and even crazier with the iPad hardware and make an iPad Max or iPad Ultra that goes even bigger than the 12.9 inch, but the truth is, I really don't think that will solve the problem as long as the software is fundamentally limited. If you don't want to put optimized battery charging on a product, you need to stop messing around with the screen sizes, Apple, and instead just focus on bringing the software people are actually asking for on these, which is why I just want to preface that as crazy as a 16 inch iPad Ultra sounds, if Apple listens, if they hear the community backlash, which they've listened before, especially with that iOS battery percentage thing. Almost listened a little too much in my opinion, but they brought picture in picture to the iPhone. They brought lock screen customization and home screen widgets. Things that people were asking for years for, and they finally caved and brought. Maybe we're in that process right now with the years of asking Apple to bring macOS to iPad. And because this rumor says the 16 inch iPad wouldn't happen until the end of next year, hypothetically, if Apple did decide to allow a dual boot option on iPadOS, just for the iPad Pros, even if they restrict it just to the newer iPad Pros with the M3 chips, or they say, in order for dual boot to work, you have to have 16 gigs of RAM, so you gotta buy a one terabyte iPad or something. Even if they do that, then yes, I will agree, a 16 inch iPad Pro would actually make sense. You could have more room for Thunderbolt ports on the side, you'd have more room for better battery life so that it could match the performance of the battery life we could see in perhaps like a MacBook Air, or maybe with that kind of form factor, Apple could improve the cooling and even start shipping binned M2 Pro or M1 Pro CPUs within that iPad and get some more performance out of it. Assuming it's running Mac OS, yes, I don't think that's a bad idea and I'd be very happy to see Apple go in that direction because as I've said before and I'll say again, I will not buy another iPad until it can replace my MacBook Pro and I have a lot of good performance and a lot of great battery life and amazing ports on my 16 inch MacBook Pro but the first spec of that step for the iPad iPad to tackle, maybe 16 inches is where it all begins, and then down the road they'll eventually make a dual boot Mac OS iPad with 120 hertz with mini LED, and it's got Face ID, and it's got Apple Pencil 2 support, but it also has a chip faster than the M1 Max, and it has great battery life simultaneously. Do you guys think that's gonna happen? I think it's highly unlikely, but I'm curious if you think I should give up all hope or hold on for dear life because we didn't think Apple would ever add trackpad support to the iPad and let it, you use it with a mouse, but here we are. All that good stuff, let me know your thoughts down below. This is your Alpha Sheep here, and I'll see you all in the next one.